everybody, it's Wendy with LoveAndStampin.com. Thanks for being here today. We are going to use the color combination Bumblebee, uh, Misty Moonlight, Gray Granite, White, and Pool Party. And we're using a few different dyes and this awesome textured embossing folder. So we're going to focus on the Brew Some Fun stamp set. And I want to just tell you, this card was made for a swap. I've explained in previous videos what swaps are, so if you um, aren't sure what that is, you can check that out in a, in a previous video. And I'm going to just go ahead and fold this four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of cardstock over to make a top folding card. And then I'm going to start layering all of my pieces. Now, if you want all the measurements for all these pieces, you can hop over to my blog. There's a link in the description of the video that takes you to my blog and you'll have all the measurements listed there. Just scroll down a little bit and you'll find them there. I didn't write them all out um, here on the screen because honestly it just takes a lot of time and I've already written them out on the blog post. So description below the video, there's where your links are, not only for the blog post but for all the products that I use today. And um, there's also a link to sign up for my fall paper party. So if you want to sign up for my fall paper party, you can do that as well. Okay, so I'm just going to keep assembling this card and I'll jump back and forth between story time and the card, but I have quite the story time for you today. So we got to get started on it. If you're new to my channel and you've never visited me before, you'll find out pretty quick that I tell stories about things going on in my life. So this is kind of like a card making chit chat vlog versus just me crafting and telling you how to make a card. Um, my channel kind of just morphed into that. So if that's not your gig, I get it. I totally understand. It will not hurt my feelings at all for you to, to pop off and say, this is not the channel for me. That's fine. Um, but I wanted to just give fair warning. So I do that in a lot of my videos because I have gotten quite a few comments over the years about that I chat too much. Well, that's what my channel is. So um, if you don't like that, then I'm probably not the spot for you. Okay, so I'm layering. You saw I stamped in gray granite. I'm just layering this circle die down onto one of the encircled beauty dies, which are gorgeous, by the way. Um, one of the die sets I showed you in the beginning. And now I'm just going to trim this edge off in order to add it to my card. Okay, so 4th of July weekend. Um, we had a wonderful weekend overall. Uh, we just had one kind of crazy incident. So um, basically, let's see, on the 3rd, there's always fireworks in the town near us. So we drove and went to that and we had a really nice evening, hung out with some friends and stuff. Um, and hung out there and then um we left there and after we left there we went home had a nice evening i think the kids did some night swimming and then we went to bed the next day fourth of july we get up and go to the parade on Main Street where we live, which is literally tractors and like little kids on ponies and stuff. Very small town America. And it was really fun. And then because I live in California, um, we aren't allowed to set fireworks off um, like near our house because of fire, because of wildfires. So, um, you know, obviously if you follow the news at all, you know that California gets hit with massive wildfires every year, um, some years worse than others. We've already had quite a few fires this year. It's going to be a really bad year because it's been extremely dry and um, we just have not had hardly any rain at all. And as much as I don't like winter and don't like rain, even I have recognized how badly we need it. So all of that being said, we have to like go to certain areas to set off like even little fireworks or use sparklers. Um, and we don't have like we're not allowed to have the kind that shoot off in the sky like my family in Montana. They can like do whatever they want. We can't do that here. So um, anyway, we so at at like eight o'clock on Main Street, they have the whole town 
come together. It's very, now let me remind you, I live in an extremely small town. So the population of the town I live in is a thousand people. The population of the county, the entire county that I live in is 30,000 people. So, and I think that includes the prisoner count, which is 5,000. So I'm telling you when I say small, I mean small. And I know a lot of people think of California and they think that's not how California is, but actually there's a lot of rural areas in California. So anyway, we gather all of our stuff. We go up to um, Main Street and we enjoy a beautiful evening watching everybody set their fireworks off in the middle of the street. The fire department's there. Um, the fire department comes and cleans up all the fireworks afterwards that get set off. And it's really, really, really fun. It's just a beautiful, fun time with family and friends and like gathering with your community. So we've done this every year for years. Never has there been any sort of an issue whatsoever. So in order to, for you to have the full grasp of this story, which is something I normally would never like say, but some friends of ours sat with us, not my best friend who happens to be African American, but another friend of ours who is African American and her son and um, his daughter. They were all there with us and we were watching everything and having a good time and all of a sudden this man in a jumpsuit looking thing, overalls, and they were like red, white, and blue overalls with no shirt on underneath, head shaved on the sides with like a mullet going down the back of his head, comes marching down the street in like a kind of like what I would consider like a Hitler march, like with the legs going way out and everything, holding an American flag. And behind him is what I'm assuming is his son who can't be more than five or six years old carrying a Confederate flag. And they are like marching down the street in front of us and it kind of just gets silent. Like the whole street was just like kind of quiet. This was towards the end of the fireworks. So there wasn't a bunch going on still. And they, it was really awkward. And we made comments about it like, like with our group, you know, just like how stupid people are and everything. Cause it was very obvious that they were racist and that they were making some sort of statement. I don't know that they're ignorant, I guess. And, um, so that was it. So we didn't think much else about it. It was unfortunate and it was uncomfortable and awkward. And we just kind of like moved on with our evening. So then about, I don't know, 10 minutes later, the little boy is no longer carrying the Confederate flag, but the grown man who's in the ridiculous outfit with the horrendous haircut is carrying an, the Confederate flag. And he starts marching back down the street the other way. And he's yelling things like, learn your heritage, read about your history, like all this stuff. So Wendy being who Wendy is, I could not hold it back. And I started yelling at him and my sister was there and my husband was there and my sister-in-law, my child and my nieces. And I just screamed at him, shut up. I was like, shut up and go away. Like nobody wants to hear what you're saying. And I, I was so angry. Like, I can't even tell you like how angry I was and my heart was a literally breaking for my friends who were sitting there because you could tell the looks on their faces was super uncomfortable, of course, and awkward. And this man turns around and he starts yelling back at me and he's like, do you know where my family's from? And all this stuff. And I'm like, I don't care where your family's from. Go away. Nobody wants to hear your racist rhetoric. Like, go away. And um, it was super awkward. So my sister started yelling and then my husband like moved forward behind me, which this is really funny. Okay. So in my head, I like chased this man away. I was like, I am awesome. I told him what, what's what and stood up for my friends and like all this stuff. And he like turned around and left and he quit 
chanting, he like walked off. And I realized afterwards, my husband is six foot five and like big. He's not like scrawny, like he's buff and a big dude. And so I real <laughs> I realized afterwards, I was like the little mouse in the cartoon that's like, bah, 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 bah. and then the big old junkyard dog comes up behind you and the thing that you're trying to like yell at, like turns and cowers and walks away. I realize now it was because my husband like moved forward behind me and like started saying things too. But in the heat of the moment, I was like, yeah, sucker, you take that. It was quite an interesting situation. So the something good always comes out of something bad. And I believe that truly. And the good thing that came out of this is it gave me an opportunity to talk to my daughter and my nieces about the situation and why why what happened happened and why it's important to like stick up for people and say, you know, the truth and and defend people. And in the community I live in, it is a predominantly white community. I will say that. Like even though we're in California, it's very rural and most of the community is is Caucasian. And so we tend to, there are people that are very racist that live where I live. And so anyway, it was just, it was an awkward, disturbing situation that in 2021, anybody would emulate somebody like Hitler and still walk around with that flag as if it was something cool to do and that it wouldn't hurt anybody. And, um, if you, if you fly that flag and you're watching this and that offends you, I am sorry that you're offended, but it is wrong. And so I probably am not the channel for you. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a really awkward, uncomfortable situation and, um, disturbing for my friends and I'm glad it's over. So happy birthday, America. We still have room for improvement. All right, here's the birthday card I made. This is a wow card that I made for a swap and the inside will hold a gift card. So if you want the measurements for everything I did, you can visit me over on my blog, link below the video. Sorry, our story took up pretty much the whole video this time, but you know, most of you that come here, I think come more for the stories than you do for the cards anyway. So there's that. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.